We had a huge solar flare recently, and after a few days that it arrived on the planet Earth, these charged particles from this solar wind cause disruption. These are charged particles, they have electric charge, they pass through the circuits which are in the orbit, they don't have the protection of the Earth atmosphere, and cause a short circuit of them. So when this cause a short circuit, we have to turn off our satellites, or the satellites will just burst or cook, or uh, they will not give the accurate data. They cause aurora visible as far south as Iran, the, some of the images we are seeing, and uh, it was visible for most of the planet Earth in the northern and southern hemisphere. This uh, disruption was visible in our GPS data, which shows through chaotic movements up and down, and uh, it cannot be related to actual rise and up and down in such a short uh, period of time. What we are seeing, the disruption on this uh, chart, probably related to that. Uh, we don't know. It can be related to a collapse of a tunnel. Remember, this was the time that the K1 crater also stopped erupting and the crumbling of the magma conduit was that. We have now 14 cube million cubic meters of magma under the source and ready to erupt. We have the earthquake. You can see that it almost looks like one of those earthquake uh, swarms that we see there. It may not be, but I have to further analyze this later. At the moment, on the ground, we will not see anything, but this is the general area that we will see any eruption happening in that uh, zone of the uh, sourcing volcanic system, Grindavik Rift Valley. Our GPS data shows the land rise due to the magma accumulation in this area was 200 millimeters since the K1 erupted and ceased also activity.